quarter. And for the game, he's got 24 points and 14 rebounds. Farmer into Gasol. Gasol flips it up. Walk on. Odom comes in for the finish. Lamar Odom does it again. Odom with the Statue of Liberty. Odom. Oh! Basketball, basketball has took me to so many different places um, that I never would have even thought to go if it wasn't for basketball. Bryant to Odom, Odom, oh, throws it down, and a foul! You know, my grandma used to tell me something, when you stop learning, you stop living. And life is worth living. So hopefully you not stop you don't stop learning them. I mean shit, I'm 40. And with all this athletic success I had, like I'm still like in search of uh, who I am and what's my purpose. And I, if I just take, you know, my story and just think like think about what I've been through, I know it's like not the end. I had twelve strokes and six heart attacks. Nine one one, where's your emergency? Hurry, please, please, please stop. The two-time NBA champion Lamar Odom now on life support in this Las Vegas hospital. In life, um, you should be focused because decision making is pivotal. The decisions that we make now will be pivotal 10, 15 years from now. Like I didn't ever think that, you know, watching porn and you know, doing drugs is gonna have me one day talking to you, but I'm here now. And I think that's what drugs and, and porn did that to me. It took me away from being present. You always wanna be present in your loved one's life. You know, me and my girlfriend have been, only been together for a couple of months and it almost killed our love. And we have a really strong connection. But I mean, it just takes out the intimacy <laughs> I, I'm laughing to myself because I'm just thinking to myself, like, he makes you a selfish lover. You know what I'm saying? You probably say shit that you would never say if you didn't watch porn or do things you would never do. I'm having sex with a woman is just like almost ashamed about some of the things I've done while having sex. Because where porn takes you mentally. But at the end of the day, I just feel like I'm just, it's time to get better you know, for my family, for the woman that's in my life, or whoever's gonna be in my life, my children. The relationship I'm in now, um, she holds me accountable. With that being said, there's just some things that she's not gonna take, <laughs> you know what I mean? And so I know that you know, losing her is, is, is um, be a lot more hurtful than switching my ways or being open to switch my ways. And that's just the cycle that I'm trying to uh, break now with my son and my kids. Well, I'm trying to be there for them, and let them know everything I'm going through, how I'm feeling, uh, be transparent with them as possible. Being transparent it, it brings honesty and, and truth to every situation, every which way you live in your life. And, you know, if the truth comes out, the sun is shining, everything is, gets better. We'll be living better as, as people.